which is so funny because I literally thought I was going to be possessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing this look right here while I also talk to you guys about therapy and mental health and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, so I am already prepped and ready to start with my eyeshadow. Per usual, if you guys are new subscribers, welcome, welcome. I see that, um, I feel like I, I don't ever welcome the new subscribers. So if you're new, welcome. And thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I am on the road to 40K. I'm literally like 200, less than 200 followers or subscribers away from having 40K subscribers. And then from there, we're gonna keep growing to 50, 100K and more so yeah so welcome to my channel and for my old subscribers what's up how y'all doing i know i just did a get ready with me but you know what as i said multiple times previous of my videos these um like not get ready with me but just like putting makeup on sometimes is just very therapeutic for me so I find that even if I don't have an idea on what to film or what I'm going to film or anything like that, it's never a bad thing to kind of go with a get ready with me or just putting makeup on and just chatting with you guys, which is basically what get ready with me's are. It's a little red right here because I kind of just plucked at my eyebrows before I filled them in. So in my last get ready with me, I told you guys that I, um, I started therapy just putting it out there i know some people there's such a huge stigma around therapy so i do want to talk about that just a little little just a tiny bit because i feel like it's not that much of a stigma around it anymore but i know specifically for the spanish and black communities and i hate to say spanish so latino and black community i know there is a stigma no matter what you say um our families and stuff are, are always telling us about how it sounds kind of crazy to go to therapy and you sound crazy and you don't want people to think that you're crazy and stuff like that trust me i've gotten it when i was younger and um and i mean younger like in my teens i felt like i did need some therapy like somebody to talk to and stuff um and it just wasn't available for me because of the stigma around it so I just want to come on here for first and foremost and tell you guys that there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with therapy. A human being in their right mind goes to therapy because you want to um, unpack all the childhood trauma. You want to heal your mind. And when you heal your mind, you're healing, you're literally healing, you're healing your body, your, your life. Because there's a lot of things that even from when we were kids, we probably don't even realize that it's affected us in such a way that we can't even quite see and understand like yeah so um if you do go to therapy kudos to you if you don't kudos to you still there's multiple forms of therapy you don't actually have to talk to therapists to say that you go to therapy i feel as i said putting on makeup is my therapy um and yeah just don't ever feel like it's a bad thing to go to therapy and talk to someone because sometimes all you need is somebody to talk to. And a lot of us, although we have family and friends and stuff like that, sometimes they're too close. Sometimes it's too close for you to really express yourself and not feel like maybe you're offending them or you said something that, you know, they're kind of like judging you. And not to say that because we have friends that don't judge us and stuff like that. So yes that is available but there's also you know such a close like when someone is close to you they can make their own inferences from what you're saying and um especially if it's hard for you to really open up to somebody i just think therapy is like the best way like i know that sounds so 
contradicting because if it's hard for you to open up how would you go to therapy because you're having a hard time opening up but if you think about it this is somebody that doesn't actually know you doesn't actually really know your family obviously they're going to get to know you through therapy and stuff like that but it's really such a different experience from somebody who has known you you know what i mean like it's easier to open up to somebody who doesn't know you if, if that makes any kind of sense at all to you guys so saying all that to say that i am a huge advocate for therapy and yeah i've always been even when i wasn't going I'm not, it's not now that i'm going to therapy i just feel like you should go to therapy no i've always been a huge advocate for therapy because i wanted to be a therapist i still kind of want to be i still do want to be a therapist at some point just when the time is right by the way this is iced tea like this the sugary iced tea not like a tea so it's not necessarily healthy but i was just i just really wanted some iced tea it's my favorite like summer drink since i was a kid anyway besides that what i'm saying is i've always been a huge advocate for it and i think that everybody should go at some point um you're never too old and never too young i self-diagnosed myself with this a long time ago anyway but um my therapist and i came to the agreement that I have generalized anxiety disorder. And basically what that is, it sounds so much more, I don't know, like serious or like, you know, when you, when you put in disorder, it kind of feels like, ooh, what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? But it's really not anything that serious. It's just, actually, I'll, I'm gonna Google the actual definition for it so you guys can know. Also, it's for sure is GAD. It's a disorder characterized by excessive or unrealistic anxiety about two or more aspects of life. In parentheses, they have work, social relationships, financial matters, etc. Often accompanied by symptoms such as palpitations, shortness of breath, or dizziness. Um, so for me, when I first started having like anxiety attacks, and honestly, it can date back to when I was like really, really young. Like I'm talking. My mom says I used to kind of wake up in the... That's nice. Yep. I used to kind of wake up in the middle of the night and kind of have these random anxiety attacks, um, which I didn't know until I kind of spoke to her a little bit more open about it when I was in college studying these things. And that's when I self-diagnosed myself, actually. Yeah, so she said I used to wake up in the middle of the night and have these, like, random anxiety attacks. Well, what are what we know now as anxiety attacks. And it was really from having... And this is crazy because I don't really want to open up, but I want to share my experience with you guys so you guys can be more aware and you guys know that you don't have to go through, like real real traumatic experiences or what we consider as real real traumatic experiences to kind of struggle mentally um because truthfully if i can look back on my life like yes i've had a difficult life or whatever all these things these random facts and stuff but it really hasn't been like in my personal opinion and probably in other people's opinion as well it hasn't been all that crazy um where it's like man like you know where you know for a fact i would have like multiple problems but um when i was younger it kind of started around the idea or the concept of my father not being around so when i was younger i used to kind of have anxiety attacks wondering why my father wasn't around or kind of just in and out and all that stuff and then when i got to high school i kind of had them i remember having a form of anxiety in like seventh grade because of my teacher she was like so mean like i just hate it every morning i had anxiety and i'd have to like yeah it, i just remember that and then in high school when i realized that i had really bad anxiety it was actually my senior year of high school and it was that summer between it was like the second half of senior year so like january to june when everybody's getting their college acceptance letters and stuff like that i was getting really bad anxiety so this is gonna sound so fucking funny it's gonna sound crazy right but I had watched Paranormal Activity with my mom and my brother because um, it was just us three and we were watching it and I started getting anxiety attacks kind of shortly after that which is so funny because 
I literally thought I was going to be possessed because I was watching paranormal activity. So I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be possessed. Like what's going to happen? And I was getting anxiety over just the idea of like, what if I get possessed? I know it sounds silly. It sounds so funny. I was so embarrassed when this was happening because I was like telling my mom, she's like, just calm down. And I, it was like really bad though, you guys, like, but I, I really thought that that's where it was coming from. Once I, for whatever reason, I think it was about a month of me struggling with really bad, like, I was having panic attacks actually, it was pretty bad, but about a month after me kind of like going through that, I, um, it kind of just went away, it kind of just like slowed down and kind of like went away. And when I got to college and I started studying um, mental disorders and stuff like that, and I learned about anxiety, I was like, wow, that is it. That is what I've been struggling with, like the exact same symptoms. And usually what happens with mental disorder is that it comes out around your teenage years. And because your teenage years are basically are the most stressful years of your life, for a very long time because you're a teenager and you don't know what's happening you're going your hormones are going crazy and all of these things it makes sense it's like you know a period of change and stuff so a lot of if you are disposed predisposed to a mental disorder which anxiety disorders um, and I'm just gonna speak about anxiety disorders in this video but um, usually it is genetic um, if your family struggles with anxiety it's more likely that you will it usually will come out during those years during your teenage years and just for you guys to know i'm not just talking like random whatever it's just uh opinionated it's not opinionated for like the facts when i'm saying like the whole teenage years thing i've actually studied this so i'm talking from experience and education so Anyway, so in college, I learned that and then I easily understood that I just had to control my mind. It's not as easy for anybody to just learn about it and say, okay, I just have to kind of like control my thoughts, you know? And this is what it's happening. When I learned about it, I was pretty like, wow, like, you know, it solved a lot. Um, and around that time, I was very stressed out because the college acceptance letters. So that's when I started having my anxiety and um, it made sense I was really stressed out although I didn't really quite feel it like my body I wasn't actually stressed out like I wasn't like oh my god I'm freaking out I was just a little bit concerned like okay and then it just escalated to a whole nother like I really started having having anxiety attacks and of course I was thinking it was the movie but legitimately I was actually like having anxiety because of things that I wasn't even aware of until after. So anyway, around that time was when I said, okay, yeah, I think I have generalized anxiety disorder because I kind of started learning about myself. And that's when I sat down and spoke to my mom. Like, did you notice this when I was little? Like, did I have anxiety? Like, was I experiencing these things? I always get this like mark right here, like where the eyeshadow is super concentrated. and. For whatever reason it just doesn't go away it's the weirdest thing when i'm doing looks but so i spoke to my mom about it and then i started to also kind of review my self or reflect on myself or reflect on my past and stuff like that and i realized i've always had this and it's just now you know it was made more like it just it became more obvious because I was going through a lot of stress at that time. I diagnosed myself with that in college and then I was okay with that. Because it just basically means you're always worrying about something. And that's the truth. I am always worrying about something. And literally, like, if I'm not... Like, it's not just regular worries, right? Because... Let me see. If you are just regular worrying, like, let's say... Damn, I have a test next week and I'm really worried about it. You know, I should probably study. It's not just that kind of worry. It's like, you go down a rabbit hole of like, I have a test next week. 
I'm not prepared. I'm going to fail. I'm going to like, it just keeps going. And then when you're done digging yourself into that rabbit hole, you go to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. And then you end up building up too much of it. And that's why for anxiety, the best thing to do is kind of just stay present in the moment. You have a bunch of techniques that I've actually shared with you guys in a couple of my other videos and stuff. It gets crazy. It's not just like the regular stuff or like the regular everyday worries. It's a lot deeper than that and that's why i decided to actually go through with therapy this time because i had a panic attack that scared the shit out of me and i was like okay i get it somebody passed last year and that was different for me because it's somebody like super close and i'm not quite even till this day it's gonna be a year and i'm still not fully processed like sometimes I still have a lot of like what the fuck moments but um because I didn't know I wasn't ahead of my anxiety I usually know where it comes from it's just like it's time it's time to actually like allow somebody else to help me somebody professional and also um I'm getting older so at some point I am gonna have kids and I don't want to not work on myself before I have kids because I want to, I mean, as human beings, we're always going to be working on, on ourselves. So when I have kids and beyond, I'm still going to be working on myself and I'm still going to have a lot of things to work through and even newer things because now you have little beings that you have to care for. So that's always going to be a thing, but I at least want to handle what I can't take care of right now. So yeah, I'm saying all that to say, yes, I have um generalized anxiety disorder which again i kind of knew it is what it is you know it's just worrying about shit that's just not even really there um anticipating things that are not really there so you and it's not anything that has to stick with you forever or it's not it's just something for you to be aware like hey you have to work on this and the good thing about therapy is that you can kind of see where it rooted from and once you heal those parts of yourself you're good just making this video to kind of touch base with you guys about that stuff i was going to talk about something completely different today and then when i sat down i had this thought about anxiety and all of that and i'm like wait i should probably talk about this and as i grow here on social media and i grow with you guys i really don't mind opening up to a certain extent and to share these kinds of things with you guys because i feel like there's such a huge stigma on mental health as i said um, you don't have to go through anything super duper traumatic to realize that there's a problem. And even if there is a problem, everything is fixable. You can work through your issues. And psychology within itself is so new. So I know that there's lots of work to be done. Just here to share my experience and hopefully help some of you guys feel better about your experiences. I know sometimes when we hear about each other's experiences, it kind of helps like you know ease it ease the kind of confusion or anything like that for others i'm the same way so i just think it's really interesting that's why i wanted to study it psychology is so interesting the mind is crazy the mind is so powerful you can literally heal or make yourself sick and both you can do so many things i have my camera it looks like it keeps going out of focus i apologize if it is your mind is so powerful and a lot of people tend to forget that so i'm here to remind you that shit is powerful so you have to be aware of what you're consuming at all times i think for my next video i'm going to do a um since i still have my straight hair over here i'm gonna do a straight to curly hair routine how and i'm probably gonna do a homemade hair mask which my grandma used to do on me when i was a lot younger well a lot younger so i'm thinking about doing that i remember she used to put mayonnaise eggs avocado oil something like that i don't know but i'm thinking about doing that if you guys would like to make if you guys would like to make if you guys would like to see that video then please stay tuned um well no Tell me in the comments down below if you guys would like to see that video. I'm thinking about doing it, I don't know, a straight to curly hair routine. 
All right, you guys, I'm coming to a stop with my eyes. I'm actually going to put lashes, mascara, and am I doing liner? Yeah, I'm probably gonna do a little bit of liner. So I'm gonna do all of that and I'll be right back to start on my face. You guys, I almost forgot I was recording, so my bad. I have already done my face. I bronzed and contoured. You guys have seen me done that a bunch of times. And I also am baking just a little bit. And now I'm just going to my lower lash line. Um, yeah. I just put music on and then I started vibing. And then I completely forgot that I'm supposed to be showing you guys. Um, I'm supposed to be get ready. Get ready. I'm supposed to be getting ready with you guys. I am actually going over to my family's house and we're gonna watch game seven of the net versus the books so that should be interesting by the time i upload this we already know the results i hope brooklyn won um but if they didn't then i'm really absolutely i'm not going for anybody else because um utah jazz just lost last night and i was actually rooting for them I like the jazz. So if Brooklyn loses, well, I'll still be rooting for Philly to a certain extent because Seth Curry is on there. So I'll be rooting for them just because of Seth because I don't, I'm not fond of a lot of players on there. So I feel like this season is crazy because you don't actually know the outcome anymore. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm kind of rushing because it's 7 o'clock and the game starts at 8.30. And after I'm done with my makeup, I still have to do my hair. Take some flicks for the gram and then I have to get going but yeah I have to hurry up because I don't live far from them but I have to hurry up because taking pictures sometimes takes so long but I hope you guys enjoyed my talk today about um, anxiety and therapy I hope it helped anybody somebody if you do, if you are going to therapy, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't want to go to therapy, let me know in the comments down, let me know why in the comments down below. Give me your thoughts, your thoughts on therapy and everything. Oof, I think I just messed up my nose. That brush probably had leftover bronzer. <laughs> I have to fix that real quick. Probably fix that off camera after. Okay, so I really I really do want to use this lime green again. You guys, I'm telling you, I love that lime green for eyeshadow. Um, I'm loving it right now, so I'm going to use it again for this look. I'm going to use it in my inner corner this time. It's probably a little too big, but I'm going to keep using it. Oh, I'm not even facing you guys. You see? Oh, also, I decided not to use liner for no reason in particular. I just didn't want to use liner. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of blush, just a tad. Makeup always rubs off my nose. Always. Like, it's really hard for makeup to stay on my nose. Sometimes I'm successful with it. All right, so I'm just going to quickly spray my face. Now I'm just going to highlight, highlight my face. I really love that lime green in there. That's pretty. I've been loving this Bretman Rock. And this is, I think, Wet n Wild, right? Oh, no, this is Morphe. My bad. Fade in Paradise Highlighter Palette. I use like three of them. Vacation, Mahu, and Get Laid. I use all three. And that's what I've been using for highlight. That's really nice, really pretty. I love me some Bretman Rock anything. Oh, my goal, I think I've said this before, is to get... Oh, did y'all hear the ice cream truck? Why is there always an ice cream truck? You know what? Anyway, I need to get, um, this summer, my goal is to get ice cream from an ice cream truck. I know, it sounds so simple, but... You gotta set those simple goals for yourself because then when you do it, it's gonna feel great. That's on my summer bucket list. It's been a minute since I had a good ice cream cone with 
Oh, vanilla. I love getting vanilla with sprinkles. I keep it very basic. When I was younger, I used to love those ones with like the characters. I used to get Tweety all the time. And those gum balls used to be so freaking hard. But I used to love those in the summertime. And one of my favorite things to get used to be the, um, I don't know if they even, I don't even think they carry this anymore, but like the snow cones with like, it was red, blue, and I think yellow. I don't know, I just know by the end of it, my mouth used to be all purple. But those were the good summer days. Anyways, I have to go do my hair and I'll be right back with the entire final look and the lips and all of that. I'm probably gonna do something nude because this eye is already doing a lot, so something simple probably gonna use chestnut by mac and probably libra and then put a gloss over it if i do anything else then i'll let you guys know but brb okay you guys so this is the final look what do you guys think i am in love and i actually created it pretty fast in like about an hour and some change usually when i do these videos it takes me long but i know i'm trying to rush because i have to go it is now 7 30 you guys so i still have to take some pictures so i'm gonna close this out right here this is the final look i decided to to do pigtails before i get rid of my straight hair because i always have the thought and then when i have straight hair i'm like what hairstyle should i do i forget all the hairstyles i wanted to try with straight hair and trust me once i wash my hair i'm gonna remember some more but anyway i'm closing out this video right here i don't have any nails on i'm thinking if i even have time to put press-ons on i probably don't but whatever we're gonna figure it out Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you guys for your support always. Let's get to 40K. We are on the road to 40K. We, we're only we're like less than 200 subscribers away. So make sure you hit the subscribe, the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Too much pain up in this but I can't put it in rotation Number of bitches try to front, but them little bitches basic If my opposition's front, just know them niggas fake I get money, I can't find a lot, cause these bitches be playing Too much pain up in this but I can't put it in rotation Number of bitches try to front, but them little bitches basic If my opposition's front, just know them niggas fake I get money, I can't find a lot, cause these bitches be playing They don't want you to win, they want you to lose Gotta keep it quiet when you bustin' your moves Feelin' got me aching, aching